Anime is a vast sea of Japanese animated content, ranging from action to horror, fantasy to romance, sci-fi to historical, and so on. And the fandom of each film or series keeps getting bigger with each passing day. In fact, towards the beginning of 2023, Crunchyroll, the famous online anime streaming platform, announced that over 40 releases of new and returning series are expected in the spring season, one of the major phases in a calendar year for the anime industry. So, you can imagine how the popularity of anime has skyrocketed in the past decade. However, let's make one thing clear. Just because the content is animated, it doesn't really mean that the anime audience is immature. In fact, nearly 40% of anime viewers in the US belong to the age group of 18 through 24 years old, and this number is estimated to increase further in the coming years. That said, an essential genre of anime has garnered a significant amount of attention lately. This particular category of films and series is usually made for the sake of fan service, that is, to cater to the interest of young adult viewers. Although we can only talk about it in a hush-hush manner, we wouldn't want our dear viewers to miss out on all the steamy and risque anime series worth watching for the subtle glimpses and the, well, you know where we're headed. In this video, we list the top 10 animes that are quite risky to watch in the living room. Number 10. Food Wars, Shokugeki no Soma, 2015. Adapted from one of the best-selling manga series of all time, Food Wars, Shokugeki no Soma is an anime series that is known for its hyperbolic expressions and the not-so-subtle eki instances that appear more often than you'd expect. Set in the elite premises of the Totsuki Culinary Academy, the series follows the adventures of Soma Yukihira, a 15-year-old boy who aspires to surpass his father's culinary skills and become a full-time chef at the restaurant owned by his family. The humble Soma is pitted against the elegant Irina Nakiri, a first-year student and granddaughter of the school director. Famous for her divine ton, Irina's refined palate is deemed as a yardstick of excellence among the most reputed restaurants across Japan. Over the course of Food Wars Shokugeki no Soma, the conflicts between Soma and Irina are dotted with much ridicule and humor, accompanied by a lot of suggestive dialogue and equally risky scenes. In fact, when Irina first tries Soma's Yukihira-style chicken's egg tempura bowl, she reaches an unimaginable degree of frenzy, so much so that she describes the food as made up of delicate and complex flavors. Speaking of complexities, let's head to number 9. Number 9. High School DXD 2012 Spanning over four seasons, High School DXD is a fantasy anime series featuring a huge cast of cute, shy, voluptuous characters. It follows the story of Issei Hyoto, a high school student at Kuo Academy who is known for his perverted tendencies. As a matter of fact, our protagonist desires to be the king of a harem of beautiful and attractive women. Goals, huh? Well, unfortunately, Issei is killed by a girl on his very first date, who turns out to be a fallen angel. However, he is later brought back to life as a demon by Rias Gremory, a buxom red-headed devil princess who instructs him to serve her devil family, the Gremory clan. While the events of High School DxD solely include the interactions among humans, angels, fallen angels, and devils, it dedicates a greater bandwidth of the story to scenes that can be summed up into two words, risque and body. After all, many fans hail it as one of the most exciting harem animes out there. With this, let's move on to number 8. Number 8. The Quasar of Stigmata 2010. Including two anime seasons and a single OVA episode to its name, The Quasar of Stigmata traces the school life of Mafuyu Oribe and Tomo Yamanobe, students at the St. Mihailov Academy. Victims of ostracization at school, which is orchestrated by the daughter of the school dean, Miyuri Sujido, and her friend, Hana Katsuragi, both Mafuyu and Tomo have a difficult time adjusting to the hostility from other students. However, their lives change when they nurse Alexander Sasha Nikolaevich Hell back to hell. From then on, the young silver-haired Russian boy promises to repay their kindness by any means, such as protecting them from their bullies at school. However, our protagonist Sasha turns out to be a quasar seeking revenge against the adepts. This dangerous organization is desperately searching for the Theotokos of Sarisin for their evil schemes. Although the quasar of Stigmata brims with fantasy, action, and suspense, it also has its share of violence and explicit content, with heavy usage of fan service to say the least. However, as far as fan service is concerned, what comes next will indeed have you hooked. Number 7. Queen's Blade 2009 
Queen's Blade encompasses the events that take place with regard to the tournament, which is also known as Queen's Blade. Held once every four years in the capital of Ganos, the tournament invites women warriors across the continent to compete for the position of the most beautiful and powerful queen of the land. The plot focuses on the trials and tribulations of Lena, a member of the Vance family who is next in line for the queen's title, which Aldra currently holds. The story proceeds to highlight Lena's experiences as she meets with other warriors who desire to become queen one day. The premise of Queen's Blade includes overtones of royalty, honor, and glory. However, this series is far more famous for the ecchi type of content that appears and reappears innumerable times throughout the anime, and it can get embarrassing enough to watch, especially if you have company. Number 6. Interspecies Reviewers 2020 Next we have Interspecies Reviewers, one of the most controversial ecchi comedy anime shows to have been released in recent years. In fact, it's pretty astonishing that the series itself has been promoted without any hush-hush noises to keep the explicit aspects of it under wraps. The events of Interspecies Reviewers take place in the distant future, where humanoid entities exist and prostitution is deemed legal. Here, the various red light districts boast of different species of sucky girls. They are female entities bestowed with succubus blood and thus able to seduce their male counterparts without any hassles. Each brothel in this futuristic world has reviewers who rate their experiences with the different succu girls they encounter. Hence, the story follows Stunk, a human, and an elf named Zell, who aspire to have affairs with every succu girl they come across, eventually taking them all the way to heaven. Well, for a story set in brothels and narrating steamy encounters, it would be absurd not to include any content that would qualify as risky, don't you think? Jokes aside, interspecies review viewers garnered a lot of fans since its inception. However, given the controversies it got into due to the nature of its content, it is quite unlikely that a new season will be announced in the near future. Number 5. Immoral Guild 2022. At number 5, we have another popular anime series which is, indeed, immoral and indecent. Immoral Guild follows the adventures of Kikuru Maren, a 20-year-old hunter who wants to retire early to spend his youth in peace. But his retirement is delayed by a new assignment, to go on a quest with Hitamu Kion, a young martial artist who is known to have dog ears. Unfortunately, Hitamu turns out to be a pretty terrible combatant and instead attracts the very monsters they fight against. Immoral Guild lives up to its reputation as an overdose of fan service as it brims with the kind of risque content that is enticing and exciting, to say the least. Number 4. Nana 2006 One of the most famous series on this list, Nana is known for the use of intense combinations of several adult themes. Substance abuse, infidelity, pregnancy, and so on. Although the explicit scenes don't occur quite as much, the risque factor still remains in the form of a glaring marker in this slice-of-life story. The plot focuses on the lives of two friends, Nana Osakai and Nana Komatsu, who move to Tokyo when they turn 20. As Osakai seeks fame and Komatsu looks for romance, the respective past they embark on eventually affect their perceptions of the world around them as well as their own selves. A story that was way ahead of its time, Nana dedicates a significant portion of the plot to the transitional phases we experience in adulthood. A wonderfully crafted story that is deeply rooted in realism and subjectivity, Nana is a memorable series that must be on your watch list. Number 3. Hybrid X Hearts Magius Academy Ataraxia 2016. Returning to the fantasy genre, Hybrid X Hearts Magius Academy Ataraxia is at the far end of the Eki spectrum. With body and equally risky content, Hybrid X Hearts Magius Academy Ataraxia is set in a futuristic world where humanity battles for its survival against the onslaught of alien life forms. Although in possession of the Hard Hybrid Gear, or the HHG in combat, our protagonist, Hida Kazuna, fails to use it at its optimal level for just one reason. He's a man, and the HHG functions best when we by a female combatant. To solve this, his dispassionate older sister Riri Hida comes up with a quite shocking solution, to have erotic experiences with her brother so that female warriors are able to power up and fight against the extraterrestrial beings. Given the sheer lechery that proliferates throughout the story, Hybrid X Hearts Magius Academy Ataraxia deserves the third spot in this list for its right balance of risque and action. Number 2. Prison School 2015 Brimming with suggestive and hilarious scenes, placing Prison School at number 2 was quite a tough choice. The plot of Prison School begins with Hachimitsu Academy, one of Tokyo's strictest girls' schools, deciding to allow male candidates to seek admission at the institution. With five boys joining the academy, their lives are turned upside down when their lustful desires come to odds with the stringent laws of the school, which are upheld by the underground student council. After their voyeuristic endeavors, 
occurs, the boys are issued a final warning to spend a month at the prison block on the school campus or to be rusticated from the academy. However, Kiyoshi, one of the main characters in the series, makes a phenomenal discovery that the boys are unabashed masochists who thrive on the thoughts of subjugation to their attractive but oppressive female seniors. With a lewd storyline complemented by peak adult humor, Prison School is one of the best comedies exploring the ecchi overtones with much swiftness. Yet, it's not as brilliant as the number one anime on this list. Number 1 Monster Masume 2016 It is a truth universally acknowledged that monsters and alien entities make risky animes worth watching. While regular human experiences are no doubt exciting, adding extraterrestrial beings into the mix is nothing short of perfection in eki terms. And Monster Masume does it spectacularly. Monster Masume is an engaging harem anime that follows the story of Kimihiro Kurosu, a high school student who begins to give shelter to extraterrestrial beings known as liminals. The liminal comprise mythical creatures like mermaids, lamias, centaurs, and more, who traverse the earth as part of the Interspecies Cultural Exchange Act. However, there is a catch. The act states that the liminals are barred from certain actions towards or against human beings, which include harmful activities and procreation. But what good is a harem anime without the latter part? With the occasional salacious scenes coupled with adorable moments of romance in between, Monster Masume is a hilarious yet enjoyable series that is perfect for leisure, at least in private. Marvelous Verdict With just one glance at this list of risky animes, one thing is for certain. Most of these series deal with a particular non-human entity or group of entities and how they interact with other human and non-human creatures over the course of the story. Although the scenes are explicit, only for fan service, each anime has a distinct set of themes that they explore simultaneously. While Nana emphasizes the immediate reality we stumble upon as young adults, Food Wars, Shokugeki no Soma has a comparatively lighter tone in terms of the events that take place over the story. Line. The riskiness, rather, eventually becomes an accessory to invite more viewers to follow the series. However, it goes without saying that the anime series listed here are indeed too risky for mainstream audiences. So, kids beware, or, you know, just wait until you turn 18.